Hey, what's going on guys? Matthew Connolly here. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I upload music video tutorials, behind the scenes of my music video shoots, and just give you guys more of an insight in my creative process with music video creation. And for today's video, we're gonna be going over and how to create this trippy offset transition in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you don't feel like watching the entire tutorial, I will be providing a preset down in the description below for you guys to purchase. It pretty much just saves you guys some time and it's a drag and drop preset and that's the best way to support the channel. Let's open up Premiere Pro and hop into today's tutorial. Okay, so once you have Premiere Pro opened up, you wanna get two clips, right? And drag those two clips into your timeline. And once you've done so, we're gonna put the playhead right at the point where the two clips meet each other because that's where we're gonna be applying the transition. So for this transition, we're gonna create two cuts, right? So once your playhead is right at the beginning of where the clips meet, we're going to press shift left arrow key twice. And then we're going to go back to where the clips meet and we're going to press shift right arrow key twice. And that pretty much just jumps forward and back 10 frames. Once you have those, you want to create the cuts and we're going to highlight both those cuts, right click, and we're going to nest it together. And let's just rename this to transition. Okay, so now we're gonna start applying the effects. So let's go over to the effects panel and let's just look up echo and apply that to the nested clip. We're gonna be setting keyframes for the time, the number of echoes and decay. So set those keyframes at the beginning, go to the middle where the cut happens. So right there. And we're gonna make the echo time, we're gonna make that negative 6.4. We're gonna make the number of echoes go to seven. And then we're gonna make the decay go to six. Then we're gonna go to the end and we're gonna make all those values zero, zero, and zero. And let's just go to the beginning and let's just make the echo time zero. Let's make the number of echoes zero. And let's make the decay zero. Okay, cool. So next we're gonna be going and adding lens distortion. Oh, actually, so for the echo, let's just make that maximum. Then we're gonna go to lens distortion. We're gonna keyframe the curvature. And we're gonna set it at zero at the beginning. Then we're gonna go to the middle where the cut happens. And we're gonna bring that to negative 73. So this is just gonna add like a little bit of a distortion effect. And then we're gonna fade it out. So go to the end and bring that back to zero. So now we have like this cool little like distortion kind of thing going on. Sweet. Now let's add offset under distort let's go to the beginning and we're just going to be keyframing the shift center to and keyframe it for 1920 1080 at the beginning and then we're going to go to the middle and then we're going to do five rotations so we're going to change the second value and we're going to do 5400 and then we're going to go back down to zero at the end so now we kind of have like this sliding distortion transition going on here. It's pretty cool. But we still have a few more effects that we need to add. So the next effect that's going to kind of help sell like the, the motion of the offset effect is directional blur. So just apply directional blur to the nested sequence and we're going to go to the beginning. And we're just gonna make the direction 180 degrees. Then we're gonna keyframe the blur now. So let's keyframe it for zero at the beginning. And then we're gonna make it go up to 67. 
or wherever you feel. For this, I think that's fine. You know, if there's more motion, maybe you want to add more. If there's less, you can add less. You can change the values based on the length of your clips and your personal preference. But now it kind of just sells the effects a little bit more, adds like a little bit of motion blur to it. So it doesn't look so digital looking. And now we're gonna go and apply chromatic aberration. The VR chromatic aberrations. And this is just gonna add like a little bit of the trippiness and some color to it. So let's go to the beginning and let's keyframe the, the red, the green, and the blue. And let's set all those values to zero so the effect isn't being applied. And we're gonna go to the middle, right where the cut happens, and we're gonna crank those. We're gonna make the red 91, we're gonna make the green 31, and we're gonna make the blue 78. As you can see now, there's just like a bunch of like colors and it's starting to look really trippy, right? And we're gonna go to the end, and we're just gonna have those gradually fade out. Cool. And we have one more effect that we need to add, and that is VR color gradients. And let's just apply that to the nested sequence. And we're gonna set the number of points to three, the gradient power to 100, and the gradient blend to zero. Next, we're gonna be keyframing the opacity. So at the beginning, let's set the opacity to zero. Let's go to the middle, and let's bring that up to 100. And then we're gonna go back down to zero at the end. So it fades out. Then for the blending mode, I personally just did color dodge, but based on you know your clip, you can change it to whatever you like. Okay, so that's pretty much like the basics of the effect, but we kind of want to make it like feel a little more smooth. Highlight the offset, the beginning offset keyframe, right click it, go to interpolation, and we're going to easy ease it. So we're going to do easy ease out, and we're going to do easy ease in for the ending keyframe. And that's for the offset effect. And we can go ahead and start doing that for all the other effects as well. So let's just highlight all these, right click, ease in, and highlight all those, and let's ease out. Highlight all these, let's ease in, and let's highlight those, and let's ease out. And let's see how that looks. Let me just render it, just so we can get a smooth playback. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Hopefully you guys learned something new in today's tutorial. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and drop a comment. Hopefully I'll be seeing you guys more often. I plan on uploading more content just like this. So definitely be on the lookout for that. And make sure you guys subscribe and turn on post notifications so you get updated every time I post a new video. I'll see you guys. Peace.